at 10501 South Avenue Jane in Chicago, Illinois, where our Sunday morning services start at 12.30 p.m. and our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes start at 8 o'clock p.m. If you need free pickup for any of our church services, give us a call and we can pick you up for any of our church services for no charge. Also, our prayer lines are now open. We have live prayer warriors available that take your call for prayer. Give us a call if you need prayer. Also, I encourage you to write me. Send me your testimony. Send me your prayer request letter. Write me, Prophet Willie Townsend, P.O. Box number 123, 128, Calumet City, Illinois, 60409. If you want today's lesson by DVD, VHS, or cassette, or CD, get the tape number or the tape message that's appearing on your screen. Call the church. Give us the tape number of the message, and we'll rush the tape out to you as soon as possible. We do encourage you to check our website. All of our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes, you can get them live by going to our website every Wednesday and Friday at 8 o'clock p.m. And every Sunday, our telecast at 2 o'clock p.m. All right, now into the Word of God. In the book of 2 Timothy, the first chapter and the third verse. That's 2 Timothy 1 and 3. Uh, Paul started this out by saying, I thank God. I thank God whom I serve from my forefathers with the pure conscience. I mean, now, Paul is going way back to the beginning of his life. I thank God whom I serve from my forefathers with the pure conscience. So in other words, yeah, Paul was serving God. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. But he was serving God with a pure conscience. That's going to be our lesson this morning, a pure conscience. A pure conscience. The message speaks for itself. A pure conscience. Now here's Paul reminding Timothy that he was serving God and that he was serving God with the pure conscience. Amen. Prophet, what does Paul mean? Uh, that he was serving God with the pure conscience. He was serving God void of offense, which means without sin. He knew he was walking upright. He knew he was living holy. He knew he loved everybody. He knew he kept the word of God. He knew he didn't let God down. Pure conscience. In other words, yeah, I'm serving God without conviction. You can preach on anything. It won't convict me. I don't care what you preach on. It will not convict me. Because I'm serving God with a pure conscience. Now that's what you want to do. You want to serve God with a pure conscience. And the only way you can serve God with a pure conscience if you live in holy. If you have not mistreated no one, if you have not have any art in your heart against anyone. If you have not went against the word of God, do you see what I'm talking about? Whenever the devil tempts you to sin, remember you serving God and that you are serving God with a pure conscience. If you fall to sin, your conscience won't be pure no more. If you fall to sin, your conscience will feel convicted. You don't want to serve God feeling convicted. You 
see how I feel, how I'm serving God, I feel good. There's no conscience laying around in my mind. There's no conscience nowhere. Uh, when you think wrong about someone, remember you cannot think evil or do evil towards someone. You have to remember you're serving God. And you want to serve God with the pure conscience. When you are covering it for money, and you're going to work every day, all day, amen, no time to study, no time to read, no time to come to church. Wait a minute, baby, it look like you're serving you. You have to remember now you are serving God. And if you are serving God, you got to make space for God. I'm not going to work nobody's job to where I can't uh, pray, to where I can't study the Bible, or I can't come to church. I'm not going to give everything to Caesar and don't have nothing to give God. And that God gave me salvation. That God gave me his life. You have to remember him when you are serving God. Remember, you're not serving yourself anymore. You serving God now, and you want to serve God to please God, not yourself. There's a lot of things that my flesh may want to get off into, but I'm not serving my flesh. I'm serving God. When I went out of town, me and co pastor, we serving God. I never did like alcohol. Even I was a sinner, I never did drink. But they had all kind of, they had all kind of alcohol in the room. But there was no temptation there. If the devil would have tempted me, the first thing I would go up to the devil, I'm serving God, not myself. You see what I'm talking about? You had, you had I mean, out of town, you had all kind of girls downstairs in the lobby. Half of them walking around with, <laughs> You see what I'm talking about? Wasn't no temptation there. You see what I'm talking about? If, if the devil were to try to tempt me, devil, I'm serving God, not my flesh. And, I want, and I'm going to serve God with a pure conscience, baby. You see that? Baby, I like this style I got in God. I like this feeling good spirit I have in God. If I sin against God, I wouldn't feel this good. My conscience will bother me. I'd be affected by my conscience. I don't want to serve God with a, with, a, with a defiled conscience. You do not want to serve God with guilt. You do not want to serve God convicted within yourself. Let me explain something to you here, honey. Many people call themselves serving God, but look how they're serving God. They are serving God in a way that God going to reject them. Hold it, baby. Israel was serving God, am I right? But what did God tell Israel? Your hearts are far from me. In vain you worship me. You got many people, they are saying that they serve God. Look at them in the church. They sing to the Lord. They clap in their hands. They pray to God. They speak in tongues. Look how they serving God. But on the other hand, while they clapping their hands in the church, while they speaking in tongues in the church, 
Why are they throwing up their hand in the church? They got guilt in them. They got conviction in them, baby. You think they don't have guilt in them while they throwing up their hands and while they praising God? You think they don't have guilt in them? Let me preach holiness to them. If I preach holiness to them, the guilt in them will be felt within them, baby. The same ones that praising God and saying they are serving God. The same one that's clapping their hands, throwing up their hands. Hallelujah. If I preach holiness, baby, their conviction, they're going to feel it. Hold it, help, baby. There's no way that I want to Say I'm serving God, throwing up my hand, singing in the choir, amen, praying to God, amen, clapping my hand, and then the word go forth, I get convicted. I'm not going to serve God like that. I'm going to serve God with a pure conscience, baby. When you are serving God with a pure conscience, when you get through clapping your hands, if I preach holiness, baby, if you feel it, you're going to feel happy. If you feel anything, you're going to feel happy, baby. You're going to thank God for the truth. That's not the way to serve God. With conviction... And guilt. You supposed to serve God with a pure conscience. Uh, you supposed to serve God without guilt or being convicted. It was the Pharisees got convicted, not the apostles. It was the Pharisees got convicted, not the early church. Let me explain something to you here, honey. If you get convicted and if you feel guilty, sin is in you somewhere. What you are doing here, you clapping your hands at God with sin in you. You, you, you're speaking in tongue with sin in you. You're worshiping God with sin in you. And you're telling me you are serving God, but you're serving God with sin in you. That's why you feel convicted under the truth. Don't worry about it. That sin that you're feeling convicted, you better get rid of it. That, 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 that sin that's bringing your guilt when hope, when, when the truth is being preached to you. Amen. That conviction you get when holy teaching is being spoken to you. You know that sin there? That's the sin God going to judge you to send you to hell on, baby. Hold it. You better get rid of it, baby. You wants to worship God and hear the word of God without conviction. You want to worship God and hear the word of God without you getting guilty. Let me tell you what guilt does. Guilt brings anger. Guilt brings anger. In other words, if I'm preaching you the truth and you get guilty of what I'm preaching or you feel guilty in what I'm preaching, you're going to get angry at me. How can you get angry at me? You commit to sin. I didn't tell you to do what you did. You did what you did. You told you to do what you did. Do you see what I'm talking about? Feeling guilty or convicted means sin has been committed somewhere. Only 
Only sin brings feeling guilty. Only sin brings feeling convicted. But serving God with the pure conscience, it shows you live in holy. Serving God with the pure conscience shows you living to please God, not yourself. You see what I'm talking about? Peoples with a conviction and guilty conscience cannot face holy teaching. That's why a lot of folk can't face me because they feel guilty when they see me. That's why a lot of folks cannot face me, baby, because they feel convicted when they see me. What's wrong with me? Why do you feel guilty when you see me? It's nothing wrong with me because I'm preaching you the truth. It got to be something wrong with you, but you better clean up your mess before you meet God, baby. Because if you feel guilty before me, how do you think you're going to feel before God? If you feel convicted in what I'm preaching, wait till Jesus judge you on the word. See how you're going to feel then. Baby, if you can't deal with me, you won't be able to deal with God. God is above me. God is more holier than I am. Amen. I'm just a messenger, baby. He is the one that sent the messenger. You know, if, if the messenger is holy and the one he sent, what do you think about the one that sent him? Do you see what I'm talking about? Amen. People with conviction in a guilty conscience cannot face the truth. It's just like when people have talked about uh, you. Take, for instance, people that talked about you, they can't face you because they feel guilty. They feel convicted. That's why they can't face you, baby. People that did you wrong cannot face you because of their guilty conscience. You see what I'm talking about? See, sometimes the way you act around me tells me you've been talking. Guilt. Oh, baby, I watch everything. Amen. You going to send other folk and you can't calm yourself? You see what I'm talking about? That's why I sent them back to you. Go and ask prophet, can I such and such? Go and tell prophet, hey, why can't you face up and come tell me yourself? If you can't face me yourself, you got to be guilt somewhere. You going to run off at your mouth and turn around on a bar? And now you feel too guilty to come and say, lend you $5? <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? Look, a wise man can tell if you've been talking about him. He, he's not going to tell you you've been talking about him, but I would know by your spirit. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. A guilty conscience can cause a person to dodge you. That's what I was just saying. Uh... A guilty conscience can cause a person to bypass you because of how they feel. All right, notice Adam. When Adam sinned it against God, why did Adam hide himself? Adam hid himself from God because of a guilty conscience. He knew what he did. You see what I'm talking about? People know what they done did. 
They know who they done talked about. They know how they feel toward somebody. If you know you got a feeling of jealousy toward somebody, you're going to dodge them. You know how you feel. Most people act according to how they feel. If you full of lust towards somebody, you're going to try to dodge them to fight yourself. You're guilty. You know the feeling is there. Amen. So you can't face them because if you face them, there go that feeling. So you, you're trying to stay right with God, so you're going to bypass them. That's that lust that's in the heart, baby. That's in the. Do you see what I'm talking about? Amen. If you go back to Adam here, once Adam did wrong, he could not face God anymore. Adam hid from God because of guilt. He knew what God told him not to do, and he did. He did it opposite. And after him knowing what he did, he hid himself from God because of guilt, baby. Do you see what I'm talking about? Let me explain something to you here, honey. Amen. When people have sinned it and, and, and did God wrong, they cannot face God through his word. When peoples have sinned it and went against the word of God, they cannot face God through his word. When, when the truth is being preached to them, it's like the spirit of God getting in the church on the TV talking to them. And they feel guilty. Do you see what I'm talking about? Amen. When peoples have done wrong against the word of God, they cannot face people that's holy. Because people that's living holy represent Christ. People that's living holy represent the spirit of God, which is the Holy Ghost. A guilty conscience is supposed to run you to God for repentance. But I can tell the guilt, I can tell you ain't repented. I can tell you ain't corrected it, baby. The guilt is still there. Once you repent and turn from the sin, the Holy Ghost moved the guilt, baby. He moved all of it out the way. All right, look at me. When I was a sinner, do I still feel guilty of the things I did when I was a sinner? No, because I repented over it and God moved it all out the way. Therefore, I'm serving God void of, of, of office. Here's the problem, baby. A lot of these peoples have not repented and correct the problem. Prophet, I repented. No, but you ain't corrected it. Really, you ain't repented until you correct the problem. Bring forth works meat for repentance. That's what the word says. Let me explain something to all of you all. Even you all that's on the TV, not just in this church. You cannot hide behind just repentance. You can only hide behind repentance and correction. If you repent but did not correct the matter, the repentance is void. This is why many of you all still living with a guilt conscience. 
conscience and with a convicted conscience because you never correct the matter. You only say, God, forgive me. No. No. You, you repented, but you never corrected it. That's why you still got your guilt feeling. If you would have repented and corrected the matter, I don't care what I preach on, it wouldn't convict you. I don't care what I preach on, you won't run from it, baby. If you repented and corrected the matter, you would not dodge me. Somewhere you didn't do it right. Amen. Well, prophet, I, I repented. Well, you probably did, but not from your heart. Prophet, how can you judge me of telling me I didn't repent from my heart? I could tell you didn't repent from your heart because your guilt is still there. I could tell you did not repent from your heart because you never corrected it. In a time you repent from your heart, you're going to correct it, baby. Matter of fact, that's the first thing you're going to do. You're going to correct the matter first, then repent. That's what I'm talking about. Holy, you does not repent first. You correct the matter first, then repent. Once you correct the matter, then repent. You showing God that your repentance came from the heart. Once you correct the matter first, then repent. God move all guilt and conviction out of you. All right, God bless you. I'm Prophet Willie Townsend, uh, the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church, where we are located at 10501 South Avenue, James, in Chicago, Illinois, where our Sunday morning services start at 12.30 p.m., and our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes start at 8 o'clock p.m. If you need free pickup for any of our church services, give us a call. And we can pick you up for any of our church services for no charge. Also, our prayer lands are now open. We have live prayer warriors available that take your call for prayer. Give us a call if you need prayer. Also, I encourage you to check our website, all of our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes. You can get them live by going to our website every Wednesday and Friday at 8 o'clock p.m. And every Sunday, you can get our telecast every Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m. Until tomorrow morning, I'm Prophet Willie Townsend, the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church. Until then, may God bless you.